Pediatricians are being warned about skin lesions that might be associated with COVID-19. The lesions can appear on children and is being called COVID toes. For more on this, I'm joined by pediatric emergency medicine physician and founder of Kit Crew Medical, Dr. Dina Kulik, joining us this evening. Dr. Kulik, appreciate your and thank you for speaking with us here on CTV News Channel. Thank you. So, what exactly is COVID toes? So COVID toes is a skin finding that we are seeing in some children, but also some adults that are diagnosed with COVID. Even people that haven't been diagnosed, we're seeing it more and more around the world. And it's been reported for a few months now around the world. And it looks like, um, like frostbite, you know, red or purple or brown discoloration around the feet. Could be underside of the foot, the top of the foot, on the toes. And sometimes there's some cracked or dry looking skin as well. So could that be mistaken for a simple allergy? How do you know that this could be an effect of COVID-19? It seems to be reported more and more in, you know, the setting of COVID and, and more frequently in the last couple of months as well as COVID uh, numbers have risen around the world. And it doesn't look like really any other diagnosable illness in children. There are many rashes that come with certain viral infections with kids, but this looks unlike that. It doesn't look like a typical like lesions like hand, foot and mouth disease or roseola or other viral infections that lead to rashes in children. So what else do we know about COVID-19? Is this, is this extremely painful? Do these cracks end up bleeding? I mean, how does one end up treating it? We watch and we wait. We don't typically do anything. Just like most other viral rashes, they resolve on their own. Certainly if the person is feeling discomfort, to take a pain medicine could be helpful or using topical medicine like hydrocortisone to decrease the inflammation or the itch if they're bothering the person. But most people have no symptoms at all and it's just something they see on their skin and it's incidental. You know, many parents and grandparents watching this today, of course, this is called COVID dose, but also wondering, will this sort of a uh, eruption, if I can call it, will be seen only on the toes or some other parts of the body as well? They could appear anywhere, most typically in the extremities. So there have been case reports of them on the fingers as well, but mostly the extremities. And what should parents be looking out for? Because many a times, you know, children would not talk about this. As you said, they won't even know that they have it and they could consider this as a regular allergy or a rash. So what should parents be watching out for? Some children will have just this rash. Some kids will have the rash accompanied by other COVID symptoms like runny nose or cough or fever or belly aches or vomiting or diarrhea, the whole you know, gamut of viral symptoms COVID could look like. And many people have absolutely no symptoms whatsoever. So some people will be asymptomatic, save for this rash. If your child's unwell, of course, you want to seek medical care. If your child's very unwell, you want to go to the emergency room. If just the rash and no other symptoms, it's best to touch base with your physician and stay home, stay isolated. Make sure you're not seeing anyone that's at risk of getting severe COVID infection like the elderly and people with chronic health concerns. All right. We appreciate you joining us this evening and, of course, highlighting a very important aspect of this COVID-19 virus.